my favorite things about this next band is they have a song about Ric Flair. Just don't chop at anybody out in the crowd, okay? You, you can woo all you want, but no chops. Yeah, woo, no chops. Yes, we're 
stories of all time. It's completely false in every aspect. But I'm gonna tell anyway, because a lot of people spend good money on fiction these days. They subscribe to their local news, the best fiction of all. This is another one about my boyfriend. His name was Keith. He had bad teeth. He did acid with pickles on the beach. <laughs> try as I may and try as I might, I just couldn't get him to move his feet to the beat. Oh, Keith. Oh, Keith. We related to each other on many levels because we're from the same place, you know? And when you do that, you have a kinship. It's like a thread that goes through our hearts. And the needle is pierced by something that we don't really quite understand. Thank you very much for this. Can I eat it right now? Hold on, boys. saying Keith. He came from a background that we learned from our fathers. He was a racist piece of shit. He used to call me all kinds of names. He would say you're an N-word, you're an F-word, you're a P-word, you're a C-word, you're a J-word, you're all these words. But I never talk back because that wasn't the way we were taught, you know. Never talk back. But bands like Never the Voiceless are changing that whole shit.